Missing is all that's going on there. Now, Donna, you got quite the vent today. It sounds like what's going on with you. Well, I wanted to voice my opinion on something that's been bothering me for a really long time. Okay. Um, I, I tried writing the newspaper and contacting uh, TV stations, but nobody seems to want to play with this. So that's why I'm calling you guys. Okay, what's, the, um, what's the issue? Well, <clears throat> over the past few years, I've been involved in three separate car accidents involving deer. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, with the population and everything. Um, each of these incidents, they've occurred shortly after I saw a deer crossing sign on the highway. Well, my frustration is that Minnesota and North Dakota Departments of Transportation would allow these deer crossings to be in such high traffic areas. I mean, I didn't see them on the interstate. Why are we mm-hmm. encouraging deer? across at the interstate i don't get it that's such a high traffic area i mean Are you, you know i understand that deer are wild animals and they need to travel across the streets occasionally to survive and you know, of course to find food but um it seems to me that so irresponsible of us to allow these deer crossings to be in areas where these deer are so likely to be struck by oncoming traffic i mean wouldn't you agree Um, I mean, it's, it's just, I mean, you think they would put deer crossings maybe, you know, in, you know, smaller towns, maybe during a, like at a, at a school crossing, that's, would, it would be a safer place for them to, to cross, what, you know, put the deer crossing sign. You know, deer crossings aren't telling deer that it's safe to cross there. It's just more of like an alert for drivers. So they know it's like a high deer population. The government put the deer crossings there. They can direct the deer population anywhere they want to by moving that deer crossing sign. I mean, you know, why in the world would they place it on the highway or the interstate? You know? I mean, God, there are so many other places I can think of than putting the deer crossing signs on on busy highways and interstates. You seem to be under the misunderstanding that the deer are somehow attracted to the deer crossing sign. Well... Well, yeah, the deer crossing sign is there to allow the deer to know that's where they need to cross. Right. And all these car accidents you had involved a deer after you saw a deer crossing sign. Exactly. I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm trying to watch out for the deer, but, I mean, I'm, you know, speed limit's 55, 65. How am I supposed to, you know, you can't break really quick if, you, you know, if the deer just is crossing in that deer crossing area. So you'd like to see these signs move somewhere safer? <laughs> right. If we, yeah, if we can move them, like, don't put deer crossing signs on the interstate or, or freeways. You know, put them in uh, lower traffic areas. You know, somewhere where the speed limit's, you know, a lot slower. Uh-huh. You know, maybe small towns. I don't know. I think school crossings is a good idea. Well, listen, we will, um, yeah, I mean, you say you've tried to contact quite a few people about this. Right, yeah, I, I wrote like at least three or four letters, and we you know, will tried. spread the word. Okay, we will try to kind of help you raise some awareness for this issue. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you. We need to move those deer crossing signs. We appreciate your comment this morning. All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>